Hey guys! Today I'm going to try making some uh, pancakes for Valentine's Day. Uh, these were, I found on Pinterest, so I'm going to see you know, how they turn out. If they turn out yummy, if they turn out gross. Um, since Valentine's is coming up in a couple weeks, I thought it would be a good one to try. Uh, so here we go. I already have my supplies out, and we'll see how this goes. Here's my ingredients. I got strawberries, I got sprinkles, and I got the pancake mix already. And then of course I already have my uh, skillet. Okay, so we're gonna start with pancake. And let's put this right in the middle. Let's start with the small size. And then my strawberries. Did them in slices like the just said. And then finally, some sprinkles. My sprinkles are a little bit bigger than oops, the uh, sprinkles that it called for on the site. But we'll see how that goes. Not sure how this combination of pancake, strawberries, and sprinkles are going to go, but that's the whole point of this: is to try. Uh, so we're just going to let that cook a little bit. Sorry for any noise in the background. My dog's trying to get in the back door. A little bit more. I will go ahead and start a couple of just plain pancakes, just in case, because I'm going to feed these to my husband. So just in case he does not appreciate the Valentine's pancakes, he can still get some breakfast. I don't turn down my skillet too much now. Let's see. Okay, well, I got it flipped. on top of that one. Okay. And let's see how these look. <laughs> uh, okay, not sure how this is going to go. Uh, add on the plate. And the skillet. So, here's the pancake. Uh, I don't know how well it can... I'm not zooming very well. Let's see. Okay, so I brought my husband in. Uh, he has the pancakes in front of him. I put a little bit of butter there. I put some syrup. I put some honey. You know, not sure how these should be plated. Um, so we'll try it. And I gave him a big glass of water just in case it doesn't taste so good. So go for it, honey. Looks interesting. <laughs> Looks like a kid's sparkly artwork. Having uh, crunchy bits in your pancake is kind of weird. Why, what's the crunchy bits, do you think? <laughs> the sparkles, little stars. Oh. <laughs> Reaching for the glass of water. Oh boy. What about with some mm. syrup? Mushy strawberries, <laughs> like cooked strawberries. Surprisingly, don't taste that good. <laughs> Let's see if the butter helps too. <laughs> half, half. 
Yeah, again, the crunchy bits of sparkles <laughs> don't help. Okay. The strawberries on top are fine. So those are the fresh strawberries, yeah, the that, ones that were not cooked with the pancake. Yeah, the ones that are cooked in are mushy. Okay. <laughs> I mean, really yeah, they didn't mushy. look so appetizing when I was pulling them off. So it's kind of like you're chewing on strawberry snot. Oh, lovely. Did the uh, syrup help at all? Yeah. How about honey? It covers up that. I like syrup on anything ever. Anything. Everything, anyways. Try it. Try a little bit with the honey. Let's see if that does. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what sort of, sort of topping. I guess maybe you could use like a whipped cream topping. That might also have not good. Not the honey. Okay, definitely not the honey. I don't go with pancakes, I don't think. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Okay, well, it, I don't want to force you to eat the rest of those if you don't like them. <laughs> Here's some uh, real pancakes. For you. Thank you, honey, for being a good sport. Mm -hmm. So, in conclusion, no sprinkles. No. And leave the strawberries fresh on top, not baked in. Okay, so no baked strawberries with it, no sprinkles. So pretty much just pancakes just with strawberries, pancake with on, strawberries top. on top. And, and it was side. okay with the honey, uh, not the honey, the syrup? Syrup, yep. Okay. Uh, I would say that that is definitely a Pinterest fail on that one. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, post any comments below, and we'll see you next time. Bye.